The third task is to set up the stages. We do this in the Decodable Stages tab. We define the stages using the letters we've already supplied and we can also specify sight words. Stage 1 is ready to define. We first need to add which letters we will teach in Stage 1. The letters shown here are the ones we added in the Letters tab. To tell Bloom which ones we want to teach in Stage 1, click those letters. I'm going to teach A, I, N, P, S and T. They are now shown next to the stage number on the left. As we add the letters, Bloom searches in the sample text files and finds words that match the letters we have chosen for this stage. These are shown in the matching words pane. To change my mind about a letter I've added to a stage, simply click it again. I do want T, so I'm going to add it back. You can also specify sight words for the stage. Type sight words in the sight words box separated by spaces. I'm going to paste some in that I have on the clipboard. The matching words pane now shows the new sight words in blue and bold. To add another stage, click the link Add Stage. Now you do the same steps again with the next set of letters and words. Notice that the letters from stage 1 are marked with bold and I cannot reselect them. In this stage I'm going to add C, D, E, H, K, M and R. And I'm going to paste in some more sight words. In the matching words pane, red words or letters are new in this stage. We see lots of partially red words. The black letters were already taught in stage 1. We also see some blue words which are sight words. Bold ones are new in this stage. Those which are not bold were available in stage 1. To practice seeing the pattern one more time, we'll add a third stage together. Click the Add Stage link. Select the letters you wish to teach in this stage. I'm going to teach B, F, G, L, O and U. And now to paste in some sight words. I've added four more stages for a total of seven and all my letters and letter combinations have been added to a stage. Please note you can adjust and even add stages after making the books which will become templates. We need to click OK to save our work in this dialog box.